Yo, what's up guys? It's been quite a while making a video, been sick for the last few, I don't know how many days, kind of back right now, started working again since today, so these are some older clips from sieges that I have done in the past, slightly-ish, uh, but a few of them were kind of interesting still to show, so I'll be back making videos, good timing because we got the 8th anniversary event coming up. To be honest, let me know in the comments what you think about the 8th anniversary event with the net 5s. Because to be honest, I feel like the one from last year felt better with like the... That was like a Pokedex collector where you can even select the net 4s, the net 3s. You can go for all kinds of skill ups you need and stuff like that. And currently it's kind of a single collector of a net 5. 5 unit but still pretty good odds that you're not gonna get the correct net 5. This match also takes like freaking ages so let's speed it up slightly bit but let me know in the comments what you guys think about the event. Also I'm pretty curious because we see the um, infinity coin event and then the prices currently for like a mystical scroll are like super low it's just, just one coin but it's supposedly going up per purchase or something. Strange thing is, it doesn't really say like how much does it go up or anything. So for that part, I'm not really sure. Also this team, the moment you run this like super OP efficiency, man, this team just doesn't lose. This is just too strong. It's so stupid. I really feel like Siege currently, offense-wise, is just too easy. Like to be honest, they should make it more difficult. I really feel like Siege offense is getting way too easy. So this is one of those meta teams these days, which I feel like is not that great. In most cases, you, you don't even need like LDs and that kind of stuff. You can just out tank. Wait, I'll show you even one better later. Let me let me show you one better later. But this is just, you, you know what it is, man. It even kills itself. You have the doggo killing one. Man, I had so much fun in the special league with just doggos, man. I actually didn't play that much and I got pretty high rank for just, just chilling, which was kind of funny. Just doggo damage. I even went in this one. This was actually on the trip to Berlin. I called the next hit during this hit because I knew how food this whole team was. I didn't even know which one would be open. I just guessed that the next one would be open. Just to go straight into the next one knowing like, okay, I can clear this one very easily one more time. Okay, sure, maybe I have been throwing some LDs at this defense. But then again, come on, it's 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 kind of easy. This was actually one of the main defenses in the global siege tournament in the last tournament, I think. But yeah, I think if people are used to it, it's kind of food. For example, this, are you throwing LD set again? The LD is not really the main part of this. Like to be honest, it's it's not not even close to the main part of this. Nana kind of is. It's just a tanky unit. That's that's kind of all there is to it. It's nothing more than just a tanky unit. And the moment they don't kill anything, that thing has zero stacks. Literally could have been any tanky unit. That third skill is absolutely not needed there. If you put a Triana there, it's probably even better. So any tanky unit. So this this team... Wouldn't say I can clear it 10 times, but I think I can clear it 10 times. I think so. Otherwise, pretty close to. But this is more or less getting a little bit out of meta already. And I'm gonna show you why. And if it's still in meta wherever like server you're playing, whatever rank you're playing, you only have to do one thing. You only have to do one thing. Which I will show in I think the next clip. Or the one after that. I'm not entirely sure. Let's see. I'm not sure in which order I have these clips because it's it's been quite a little bit since I made this. It's like uh, this is one other way. Yeah, I guess it's one other way. Yeah, I really feel like these things should not really be on uh, anything. Good stunners, though. Definitely good stunners. This is actually why my Shine and Martina were built relatively tanky. Amazing damage. Man, if that thing doesn't have stack, doesn't have attack buff, the damage is weak. The damage legitimately is very weak. This is when my Shine and Martina were actually full tank. Or close to full tank. They just did damage on additional damage artifacts. They barely took any damage from getting hit. And they still did a lot of damage. Like... Oh wait, this is a different one. This is a defense I've been seeing slightly bit from another guild. And trust me, if this was a good Gianna defense, I would have been using it. 
I am not using it. What does that mean, ladies and gentlemen? It's not that great. It's actually, it looks kind of scary at first glance, but it's actually pretty weak. I feel like at some point I'm also throwing LDs at everything. Am I throwing LDs at everything? More or less. Well, we know the Perna dies. No worries. Next one. I am throwing LDs at everything. Well, in my defense, this LD is shit. D does that count? See, again, the main thing is just a tank of Triana. That's, that's all you need there. All that you need to it. Nothing more, nothing less. Nothing special. Even with this weak LD, it's still pretty food to fight all of these Odins. I feel like in lower ranks, Odin is still pretty hard meta, but in higher ranks, he's kind to start to fade away. People are kind of shifting towards, well, I don't know, like weird shit, because nothing really works. So people just try to start doing weird shit. Okay, the monkey actually did quite some work. Proking double, going into his S3. Not too bad, monkey, not too bad. Ah, you can die, no worries, no worries. No issues with that. Didn't want to use S3 because of the glancing hit. Because if you have glancing on the wrong element, you will never actually land anything. And did I need a proxy here? Kinda looks wonky what I'm doing here, doesn't it? Well, still, both of these units are somewhat tanky. And the monkey is actually doing some decent monkey business today. Decent. No armor breaks, that really did help out. And the monkey can do monkey business. I still kind of miss with this skill. The animation looks very cool, but the, the animation needs like an explosion at the end. It's just like a fucking drive-by dragon. It's just like, yo, sup, I was here, I did nothing. I don't know. Okay, this, this is how you're supposed to counter this. I did this on the way to Berlin to the meetup. The only thing you do is you put a lot of damage, like really the highest crit damage you can find on the Miho. You put a lot of damage by counter and that's pretty much all there is to it. The only thing you have to hope is that they all crit. He missed a critter. <laughs> but if he misses a critter, he does 1.7k, which I'm also not that scared of. But yeah, dots might kind screw you up but I wasn't really too scared of that as well I felt this was actually pretty legit like sure if there were like four dots on the unit yeah I feel like then it might have had a chance but I think I'm pretty sure if it would end up with zero HP even if that one would not crit right now I would not die from that it would just do too little damage for non crit like exactly that it would just simply do too little damage on an armor break for non credit Easy, right? Easy. <laughs> and now we have one more of those defenses, which is just... I don't know. I don't use... Wait, if I use a Kaki offense, I'm hella trolling. Because this is for sure my Kaki that's... This is not a Kaki you want to put on offense. Because I'm pretty sure this is my Fatal Kaki. I don't have another Kaki than that. So this is my super high damage rush Kaki, which I guess does a lot of damage. Not too much without armor break, not gonna lie. Interesting, interesting. I'm hella trolling. I think I was hella trolling because I was on the way to Berlin while doing these uh, these matches. Berlin was a good trip, by the way. Was a good trip. I think Alusia is just very solid, which does really help out quite some. I took blur out some bits because got a message without having it on the no disturb arena mode. This is an offense you actually, or this is defense you actually see quite a lot. And I feel like it's a decent defense for what you could build right now. I feel like if you put this many times, especially in lower ranks, people are going to have quite some issues with this. Especially on destroy. That's the main thing as well. If your defense is not winning enough, put stuff on destroy. Not having will is not the biggest issue. Because not everyone, like most people don't even know if you have will or not. So I feel like it's a pretty good call to just go, fuck the will, just go, wait, can we actually crit? We could actually crit on this right now. Did we crit on anything? Mm, don't think so. 
Odds of critting are also pretty low. I think that unit has like 20 crit rate or something. But yeah, in the end, we clear this pretty easily. And I think I got one more match after this. Ah, another one of those. Another one of those. Yeah, this is one of these matches. I pretty much try to mirror it. And it's pretty much destroy against destroy. If the enemy destroys you more than you destroy, you die. If you destroy more than the enemy, you win. But in this case, uh, from what I remember, I had more issues with destroying him than he had with destroying me. For whatever reason, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe my... They only have one unit on destroy. I think I have my Skogo. My Skogo is on destroy as well, but I feel like it was destroying a lot more than I was. So for some reason, if you do that and you mirror that and they also have destroy, you lose. So that's why I put your defense units on destroy, because this one had two units on destroy. It had both the Vigor and the Skogo on destroy, and that's what actually made it strong. So if you guys are crafting defenses, uh, I know in the higher ranks a lot of people are already doing it, but especially in the lower ranks, think about it. Look at the amount of destroyed HP. Also some units, maybe I should have focused the Skogo first, because a Skogo does a lot less damage the moment his HP is destroyed. And I was focusing the Vigor, so... Also, figure does less damage, but it's still armor break, so... In this case, uh, he did a lot more useful stuff than I did, and that's how you lose. That is how you lose. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think my team was just bad. I think my team was very bad. So, yeah, I'm still not the, the king of net 4 defenses hitting. Will never be. Of net 5, I'm pretty fine. So that's it for the siege video. Well, I just paused the video. This thing is dying right at the spot. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. It's been a while since I uploaded anything. Um, there will be no rush video because I didn't rush uh, on any cam or anything. So that one won't be there. I got a few videos coming up about other stuff, more random stuff. So stay tuned for those. I also will try to fit in more streams i will be streaming this weekend of course but i'm not entirely sure yet still not completely fit so bear with me guys thanks for let me know in the comments what you think about the events and also you guys probably have seen it the freaking hypno meow man that thing is my fucking new spirit animal that thing looks fucking amazing man i got if the light and dark are good i gotta let i summon as many light and dark of those until i get one of those because Fucking hypno meow, man. That thing looks fucking insane. Guys, thanks for watching. At